crazy volatile day yesterday for crypto. This is a Bitcoin chart, but if you're an altcoin holder, I think you felt that crash a little bit more. Altcoin so volatile to the downside yesterday. I needed personally to sit down this morning and get a little bit of a pulse check on the markets. Where, what is the state of crypto? Where are we right now in these cycles? I needed to zoom out. I'm excited to do this video because I think I've gotten some very clear perspective. I'm going to be going over ADA charts, Ethereum charts, Chainlink, Solana. So hit the subscribe, hit that like on the way in, and let's just jump into this. Let's get the state of crypto. And I want to say this first off. People are really feeling that crash yesterday. Did you wake up today? Are you breathing? Are you breathing? Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I'm excited to, to, to just enjoy the weekend with my family this weekend. Life is so much more, so much more than crypto. That's important perspective. I just wanted to throw out there real quick. This is Bitcoin. It, it was definitely way more volatile for altcoins. Bitcoin, if you look at the daily, it's kind of like, oh, I mean, it hit resistance at the upper trend line and we fell back into the triangle. There's a symmetrical triangle and it's just like still within the, the apex of the symmetrical triangle. It's crazy. There's, there's not even a lot of volatility when you look at the daily chart. It was actually worse back here uh, in, in March. I'm going to throw this out there at the beginning of the video because this is the most important. What I'm about to say is the most important part of this video. There's going to be very key data right after this, but this is the most important thing. Solana. Solana chart, 600% since it just took off. It took off in October. This is a sticking point. This is a huge challenge for so many altcoin holders if you're not holding Solana. This is really throwing people off, this chart. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break this down for you very simply. Especially as somebody that's a very bullish person on Cardano. There has been this narrative, especially with ADA. ADA is just, it's left out. Because since October, look at ADA. It's 110% up, while Solana's up 600%. I'm going to throw this out there right, right now. Since October, ADA's up 110%. Guess what? Chainlink up around 110%. Guess what? Ethereum up since October around 110%. So ADA, this, this piece of the segment for ADA holders, ADA is not being left out at all. ADA is just, it's hanging out there with the OGs. And I wanted to dissect that, that one thing alone and just try and understand, well, what's the deal? What is going on here? And there's a couple things I want to I wanna break down for you. So I'm going to start on the Bitcoin charts, and then we're going to go into ADA, Ethereum, Chainlink, and Solana to get a sense of the state of crypto, the state of these altcoins, what is going on. It's actually very explainable, I would say. And we start here on the Bitcoin chart. There's one thing on the Bitcoin chart that is just, it is weird. That is this. This is the first cycle, as we know, where Bitcoin is basically broken all-time high and hovering at that all-time high area at Bitcoin heaven. Every cycle, and I'm zoomed out on a monthly Bitcoin chart, every cycle so far, when it's Bitcoin having, you can see Bitcoin is not broken two areas. Number one, all-time highs. And then also this lower high Fibonacci indicator that I use. It's a bull market door indicator, right? This is the first cycle where Bitcoin's broken all-time highs and it's broken that indicator before the halving. So we're hanging out at all-time high at Bitcoin halving. It's never happened before. And that's a dynamic that these, these cycles in crypto has never had. And so for me, as I just zoom out on the story of crypto, the story of Bitcoin, I really think that a huge piece of this is not only the narrative of the Bitcoin spot ETFs, but it's also very simply the, the supply shock of Bitcoin. There's, there's been an, an incredible amount of inflows because of the ETF. And now we have this, this double factor of supply shock, meaning we have the, the ETF demand, institutional demand, and we have the Bitcoin supply shock worked into the Bitcoin having. We have these two things for the first time ever happening. And Bitcoin is making a power move sooner than every other cycle. But even still, as we are in the month of Bitcoin having, we're like a week away. The Bitcoin having really is the data point to use for, for altcoin markets. And what I want to say, and I've been saying this before we go into these altcoins now, if we look at the Bitcoin dominance chart, it has been historically, here's the Bitcoin having, here's the Bitcoin having, 
it has been months after the Bitcoin halving where we see altcoins explode. This, this is altcoin season. You see dominance falling on Bitcoin, dominance falling on Bitcoin. It's, that's altcoin season. In my mind, I've had this chart up for quite a long time now because look, here's Bitcoin halving. We're not even there yet. So in terms of this altcoin dominance season happening, it's normal that it hasn't happened yet. And that's just something I need to kind of zoom out on and remind myself of. Now, if we go to some charts, and I'm going to just go through these charts. Let's start with Ethereum. You start zooming out on Ethereum now. And actually, let me just change it to a weekly. It'll just clean up the look and feel of it a little bit. If we look at Ethereum, again, here's Ethereum chart. We're at Bitcoin halving, right? Here's Bitcoin halving. Here's Bitcoin halving last cycle. <laughs> look where Ethereum was. Here's the, bull, here's the bear market low of 2018. And if we look at that, that low to Bitcoin halving, Ethereum was up around 150%. Ethereum was up around 150%. If we go and we look at something like Cardano, and let me change Cardano to a weekly chart, and then we go back here, and we look at, okay, from that 2018 bear market low to Bitcoin halving, Cardano up around 150%, give or take, depending on what part of the candle you want to you wanna put Cardano up, but up around 150%. So the move that's happening now, you can notice how altcoins at this time, last cycle of Bitcoin halving, I'm taking ADA, way off of all-time highs, still off of all-time highs. We can take Ethereum. It was way off of all-time highs. Very, I mean, very similar to Cardano this cycle. And we always say Ethereum's kind of a cycle ahead of Cardano in terms of uh, maturity. And Ethereum, still away from all-time highs. Now, here's where things get fun when we start looking at Chainlink because this does two things. It paints the picture of where we are in the cycle but it also, it, it really does help get some perspective on what's happening with Solana. These cases are, is not the first time we've seen, and I've talked about this before, but if we zoom out on a chain link chart, let me change it to a weekly. Look at this. Last cycle, going into having from the bear market low of 2018, looks nothing like Cardano, looks nothing like Ethereum, that were, they were both up around 150%. Chainlink was up around 1,700%. Look at this, going into the halving. Up around 1,700%. Now that type of power move, all before the halving, that looks very similar to kind of what's, ha what's been happening with Solana. Solana not up that much, but Solana outperforming the OGs in a sense. But the question is, does that... Did at the time when Chainlink was outperforming, here's the Ethereum chart going into having, when it was outperforming the Cardano chart going into having, did that just make Cardano and Ethereum, they're just being left out of the bull market? Did it at the time? No, it didn't. And the reason I'm bringing all this up is because we have just almost identical narratives right now. These OGs are over, it's done. And last cycle, it could have been the same. Look at Chainlink. This, this new hot altcoin, these OGs are done, Ethereum, Cardano. And that was, not the, that was not the fact. That was not what was happening. So interesting, on the second side of Chainlink, if you go to this, Chainlink, this cycle, just doing exactly what the, the OGs are doing, right? 110% from that October move when Solana broke out. And the question is, is Chainlink irrelevant? That is such an easy question to answer. Chainlink is the go-to for, for real-world data on-chain, bringing it on-chain into crypto. It's been reliable over the years. It has insane wide adoption across the crypto space. It's versatile. And I have these points noted because these are all of the main points that say, no, Chainlink's not irrelevant at all. It's very relevant. It is very here. And it's up only 110%. How, how do you explain that other than, well, so is Ethereum. Ethereum's up around 110%. So is Cardano up around 110%. These OGs are up, are, you know, over 100%, but it's not even Bitcoin having yet. And we were in such a similar moment last cycle, right? There are different dynamics this cycle. There are different things happening from a macroeconomic standpoint. There are different, there are different narratives throughout the crypto space. But at the end of the day, I think... 
a lot of people, if we go to the Bitcoin dominance chart, I think a lot of people are just kind of acting like we should be like right here in terms of cycles, right? Months after Bitcoin having, people are thinking that that's where we are in terms of altcoin season. Bitcoin dominance should be falling. Altcoin should be exploding into all time highs. This has never happened at this moment of the cycle. So I don't know where people lost at what point along the way people lost this patience through these cycles, but we should not be there yet. I tweeted earlier. I said, Cardano to a dollar before Bitcoin having was never really in play for me because of this the exact thing that I'm talking about. I tweeted this in, in February. I said, I don't think Cardano will break a dollar before Bitcoin having because when we look historically at the charts zoomed out, that's just not the move that would have happened yet. So I'm trying to pace myself in these crypto markets. I'm trying to get some just zoomed out perspective on what's going on. And this is what I'm coming up with, everybody. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Please hit the subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Turn notifications on. I will see you in the next video. God bless.